The ground starts shaking because of an earthquake. It's because of a sudden slip on a fault. An earthquake is simply when a fault moves and a fault is a crack in the ground. So basically you have the ground on both sides of the crack moving relative to each other and that's what creates the shaking. In South Carolina, experts say smaller earthquakes aren't uncommon. You've got a lot of fault lines left over from when the Appalachians were built and there's been a whole uh, several episodes of mountain building there. So there are faults all over South Carolina. The question is which ones are active. Researchers say sometimes these faults start moving from time to time, like recently in the Midlands. There's always the possibility that these are foreshocks to something larger. When you do get a large earthquake, you sometimes get a number of these smaller ones beforehand. Now that's unlikely because we see dozens of these sorts of earthquakes in the eastern U.S. every year. However, scientists still wonder why they become active in our region. One of the mysteries of earthquake science is why we get earthquakes in the eastern U.S. at all because it's not at a plate margin. Most earthquakes like in California or Alaska are at the edges of two tectonic plates. Whereas the eastern U.S. is um, not near the edge of a plate, that's out at the Mid-Ocean Ridge. In South Carolina, one of the most historic earthquakes happened in Charleston 136 years ago. South Carolina has a history of relatively small earthquakes scattered throughout the state. And then they've also had a couple big earthquakes, the biggest of which was the 1886 Charleston, South Carolina earthquake, which caused extensive damage in Charleston. That was about a magnitude 7 earthquake. While the state hasn't seen one of that size recently, many remember the 4.1 magnitude earthquake in Edgefield. It happened on Valentine's Day in 2014. It could be felt across the upstate. When you get up around magnitude 4, um, you start seeing things like things, objects falling down. When you get up at magnitude 5, you start getting damage, like sometimes chimneys can fall down and things like that. The USGS says recent earthquakes should serve as a reminder to always be prepared. But make sure you have supplies on hand, make sure you have food on hand in case there is a large earthquake. In Greenville, Daniel Robinson, WYFF News 4.